All right, dudes and dudettes, I have one of the best and coolest looking mob farms coming at you this episode that I've ever built or designed. Yes, you did hear me right. I have an amazing mob farm set up. It's gonna be, we're gonna have four little chambers here. We're gonna make this place look like a factory. Guys, it's gonna look so good, oh my gosh. I haven't been planning it for the last six hours. Yes, I have been. I, why did I say I did it? Well, it, it adds dramatic effect. But anyway, yes, we are going to be building our little factory here today. And it's a little far away from the base here. I'm hoping to keep the frames at a decent rate over there. Um, that's why we're building it kind of here. We also have kind of like a little view, which is cool. This has all been terraformed. If we go, if you look in here, I'll be able to just fall through. Um, yeah, we just terraformed over this. I'll come back in here eventually and fill it up. But uh, yeah, guys, oh my gosh. I've, I'm so excited to get working on this. But we do need to do a couple of things first. So here we go. Okay, so I've been working on making these brown bricks here. Um, these are gonna be kind of the walls that go around because we're going for a factory. It's not gonna match anything in here, unfortunately. It's gonna look like its own standalone thing. Uh, Cause it is like a factory. It's gonna kind of look like, uh, like maybe it's been newer built. It's not as old as these items are. And plus, we're running out of room. But I have been growing some water and some dirt seeds. And if you guys don't know, this is how you make clay in bulk. Um, you can just make it really simply. I've also been uh, harvesting a lot of uh, terracotta over at the closest, uh, what you gonna call it? The closest thing. Uh, what do you call it? This guy, uh, Badlands. So yeah, so you just come here and then you can craft up a whole bunch. And from the materials we just collected, let's see, we, oops, we make a total of 2,400 clay balls. And yep, I've been working on getting some glass melted up too. Um, I actually, I found out something really cool from Mob Grinding Utils. Um, they have their own like dark glass that's really easy to craft. You just use coal and glass and you get this tinted glass. It says glass blocks designed to prevent light tough enough to withstand withers. So it means you could be able to look in there and check out a wither if you wanted to. That's really freaking cool. So we're gonna use, I don't know why I made a bunch of this. I have so much of this already. <gasps> why was that a big boost of speed? I'm just jumping around with the elytra and sometimes I just get these like hurls of speed that just launch me. I don't know what it is. But yes, now we have 2.1 thousand of these, so we're fine. These are the blocks we're gonna be utilizing. So we're gonna kind of go for a two-tone effect, kind of like we did on our starter base there, uh, where the bottom is, if you can see it, it's kind of like this material here, these bricks, the sandy bricks, and then upwards, it's not like that. Sorry for the loud car outside. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna utilize the cobbled deep slate and maybe the cobble tiles, these together might look good. I might just go with the deep slate tiles paired up with these bricks. Oh my gosh, this is such a good, such a good combo. Oh man, you guys are gonna love it. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start building the platform here, um, kind of the, the basement here, because um, what I wanna do is have a staircase that goes up into the main entrance up here. Uh, and then this is where the mob farms will be going up. This is just kind of like an outline, but we'll have a bunch of space underneath to kind of do things. Like we won't have to worry really about how it looks uh, or how it functions. Um, like we just gotta make sure we can get around, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna start designing this bottom floor here and then we'll kind of come back. I don't know what we're gonna utilize for a floor yet. I'm thinking dark oak uh, law or dark oak planks might look good or spruce planks. Now it depends on what matches better with this, but I'll come back to you maybe in an hour or two once I've got this thing completed and we'll see about going forward. All right, we are back guys. It has been, geez, probably 12 hours since the last clip. I've been working on this. I know it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but let me show you the outside. Uh, this is the inside. This is where the spawning platforms will be. Yes, I moved the staircase forward a little bit. This is kind of the look we're going for. Um, we're gonna be doing some cross paneling. 
I guess you could call it in between. Uh, don't worry, there'll be plenty of windows along the outside here. Uh, we're just gonna probably do something like this. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really, really liking this. Um, check that out so that's how it's gonna feel we're gonna have those all across there's gonna be glass and then these are the spawning platforms these are super cool uh, don't worry about the lime terracotta uh, you won't be able to see it I just want to put these here to signify where things are gonna be this is where the killing chamber is actually gonna be and the storage units and all of the processing stuff is gonna be down below but yeah we have done quite a bit of work under here too. check it out so yeah this will be the basement we're gonna be dropping the mobs down here into this and then we're going to be funneling them over here to go up uh, i don't quite know how i want to go about doing that yet maybe a mob fan going upward is the best idea but all of our mobs are going to be filtered into this we're not going to have any spiders because we already got string so you don't have to worry about two wide mobs uh, we just have to worry about uh, three tall and one wide so oh yeah now we get to work on the funneling i guess you could call it um so yeah we are going to have uh glass here i think we'll just have normal glass actually um yeah and so we will pipe actually you know what we'll do is so what we can walk here we'll have them funnel together over here um got a couple of these lanterns putting these here just so if I ever if someone else ever comes by and I don't have they don't have any night vision on it won't look terrible so we can't go there we have to go up here okay that is perfectly fine but we're gonna do this and this and this and this and we'll go oops like so each of this will be filled up with glass we probably won't fill up the glass in the back because we'll be able to see it you know what I mean? So there we go. And then, well, we're just gonna clog the hole. That's fine. We will do this. Now the trick is getting them up is gonna be the trick, like I just said. So, these lines will connect here. It's gonna look like some piping. I think it'll look really, really cool. They will be going along this. And then they will meet here and get shot up. So that is the goal. That's one too many. Darn it. Okay. So we need more of those. Um, to here. And go across. Maybe, what if we did this all underneath the surface so that we could walk here pretty well? You know, maybe it's a good idea. We just drop them three more blocks and then we have like a one piece of glass along the top and then we still do this. I think that's gonna work out better. Okay, let me get the piping down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the tunnel system laid out here. Again, this is gonna go three blocks down from this point so that Withers and Endermen can get through here. Obviously with Endermen and Blazes, we can't utilize any water streams or anything like that. So we gotta be a bit creative. I do believe that there is a vertical conveyor belt. Yeah. I don't know how this is gonna work. We're definitely gonna try it out, but we're gonna be using these conveyor belts from Immersive Engineering to move everyone around. So let's go ahead and craft up a heck ton of these guys. I won't be needing these dudes anymore. Um, yes, okay, so here we go. These are all of the ones I was able to make. I hope this is enough. So, oh wait, hang on, we forgot to do something. I wanna test the vertical conveyor belt. This one here, we're just gonna utilize three of them. We gotta wait 17 seconds. Okay, so we're good to go now. So what we're gonna do here is we'll place these, okay, yeah. The vertical, it would be really cool if they worked like this. And then let's also place some on this side so we can test and see. It looks like this is gonna work though. Okay, so it comes here. Can they fight it? So if they push against this wall, 
Yeah, it works. It works. Very cool. Is there like one-way glass? You know what I mean? Like where you can enter the glass from one side, but you can't from the other? Anywho, we know this is going to work, so I'm going to start implementing this. And we are off to the races. Very cool. I like this. Just being in there with... And especially if we don't give the mobs any AI, um... They will not fight it at all. So that is definitely how we're going to be moving the mobs around. Uh, we'll have glass here in the front so that we'll be able to see them go up. So, yeah, um, the glass on the ground will be normal glass. Um, the glass coming down the chute will be the dark glass. So, yeah, let me show you guys here. So Sorry, the tinted glass. So this is how these panels are going to look. And we'll be placing these all around up top. But yeah, so they'll drop down here and then on the ground here will be just normal. Okay, so we have all of these pipes set up here. The tinted glass, I decided to use Dire Glass Viewer. Uh, it just, it was a connected texture. I just threw a bunch of glass into here. Uh, I mean, you can turn it back in. But yeah, we just did uh, Zycraft World. Dark, dire glass viewer, but yeah, it's working good. Uh, there was one thing that was a little bit of a concern. I guess we have to go uh, fall. It's a good thing that I have feather falling on these boots I found. Um, so let's go eat here real quick. I'll show you guys the system. It's really cool. I have it coming out over here. But yep, the mobs fall down here. We might do something to eliminate the fall damage, like put some vines down there or something. Uh, but yeah, brings them over here. I'm just going to walk a little bit faster so I can show you guys. We have three block height here so enderman and wither skeletons will be fine if we don't move at all it should pick us up and bring us all the way up the thing i was worried about that we may actually have to change can we go down this no i don't think it'll let us yeah anyway the only thing i'm worried about is the glass there um, they might end up going to the right and getting stuck or get they might get pushed back so we may end up putting just like a half slab or like a trap door there just to make it a little bit lower for them um maybe have a little bit more issues getting up but anyway we're gonna go ahead and i'm actually gonna do one of the close ones yeah we're gonna start this one here i don't have too many mob spawners actually so yeah and then i get to show you guys the cool building gadget you probably guys probably recommending it for this build but yeah i've already built it so yeah we're gonna go all the way up here to the top with the roof will go one below but this guy is so amazing check it out look how simple this is to the recipe well okay i guess it's not gonna work it's over here building gadget it's just two diamonds two redstone one lapis and four iron um, i just made a charger from mechanism it wasn't too expensive at all but yeah this thing will save your bacon <laughs> oh man i really do like that oh my data is falling well sometimes that happens why oh i was a little too far forward yeah it goes to the position you're at but yeah we're able to do that no problem so i guess i will do this as well um <laughs> yeah and then we'll put a bunch of the um, tinted glass in between and so then all of our spawning chambers will be built and we can start uh, having mobs there but before we put mobs in we got to make sure we get the killing chamber done otherwise we'll have a problem but uh, yeah i'll do this some more it's actually really cool because you can completely build one of these wire frame structures uh if you have the materials <laughs> um while you're there so we could just build some more here real quick and cool thing is we have iron automated so we don't have to worry about running out but then slash back we're good and shebang and i wonder can we even build it from over here or are we too far away i think we are just too far away nope we are, oh yeah we can't do that we can build those though however and i mean we can always build these from the bottom too Dang. but uh yeah so anywho uh i'll be back in a jiffy all right so we have the structures built here i need to find a way to stop those guys from spawning because if you look at our map over on the right side those little i guess dudes are 
I think they're somewhere. Yeah, those, it's those guys. I don't know how to get rid of them. They're frustrating me. I want to freaking get back. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and I believe this is the first one we're going to start at. Is this one I have built up down there? Yeah, it's funny how I'm basing it off of that. But yeah, so again, using the amazing builder's wand. Yeah, it works great. Um, and the, this is the, the coal and glass method thing I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. So yeah. And then with this guy, you do have to fill in the bottom a little bit. Which updates it. It's supposed to be all the same, but we have special things. Ouch. Cool. So we're going to leave this open just for a wee second here. Yeah, we have enough to do all of this, I believe. That's amazing. But yeah, so this won't let any light in. It's a lot less expensive than tinted glass from vanilla Minecraft. So yeah, um, I need to move the elevator blocks way closer because these are annoying to get to. But yeah, this is my attempt to stop those freaking bee things from spawning in. Oh my gosh, again, so many. Uh, we actually should probably do the roof. Um, hmm. Probably going to do two of these. And if you guys are wondering, I do have some mega torches down below this lantern. I have two of them on each side that are preventing any hostile mobs from spawning in. So that's why we don't need to worry too much about it. Um, but yeah, so we're going to switch this over to this. Just shift right click. And we can do this in a simple, sim super simple, cool way. We just go to the back wall. We go click, 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 and click. And then we can click this guy. And then we can click this guy. And now the roof is sealed. All right. So that means, so one, two, three. This is where we're going to put the, f on, on top of it, we're going to put the first um, block. Oops, spawner thing. I wonder how fast. You, stop it. Let me see the block. Don't worry, I'm just snacking on my berries. Just like throwing all my crumbs down there. I assumed it would have got here already. Okay. Um, eventually we'll probably have a sky stone block here. No, we don't. Did I pick it up on accident? I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get a spawner in here. <laughs> I bet you thought I was going to put a spawner in before I made the killing chamber. I just about did. It was scary. But anyway, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and craft up a couple of these. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, well, we're going to make a mob masher. All of them are going to be filtered into this mob masher, so it's going to be really lit. I promise. It's going to be great. Okay, and oh, we do need one more of these. This is why I love digital storage. Yeah, look how fast we can craft things. My hands are shaky. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have our mob masher here, which is amazing. Uh, so now we need to go ahead and make a mob masher upgrade. So we're gonna need quite a few of these. That's great, because we can make them. So we just need to make a total of 10. Don't shift click turtle, don't be dumb. Okay. We need a lot of swords. So we need one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We need like 36 swords, which we can make. It's okay if we make a bunch more because I'll probably need some in another area sometime soon. Cool. So here we go. One, two, three, how many do we make? Perfect, we made way more than we needed, like always. All right, and then, so that's sharpness. And then we need 10 of these for looting. Amazing, 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 amazing. Cool. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Um, yeah, check it out. We have all of these cool spawners here. I need to move the elevators. Oh my gosh. Or just some others. But we need to grab a couple of items. So what I would like is for things to work out perfectly here. And I want the killing platform to be here. We're gonna do this just for now, because this is the level on which I need this to be. Okay, okay. So one, two, and we need, let's see, one, two. We're gonna have the floor there. 
So that means... Hmm. Okay, we might need to put... I don't know, how does that even work? How do you... I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about here. How do we get them from this wall over to here? It's fine, I keep calling them pipes. They're not really... I'm so glad I have feather volume. <laughs> otherwise, this would be very, very not fun. Okay, so I need to make sure I keep talking here because otherwise it's gonna be hard to edit this video. So um, this is right where they're gonna drop off from. So I'll probably do this here and then we need, hello, I hear walking. We need to put these here and then the glass will be everywhere else, okay. So we will be able to see them come up from the back wall. Okay, so this is kind of what the killing chamber is looking like. Now we're going to have storage on the left and on the right. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can... How... Okay, so first of all... Okay, so if we place this like that and this... Oh, oh not, like, not like this, not like it. I don't like it. Okay, so I like this. Good thing is that the thing's not turned on, so we should be okay. All right, so if I walk into this here, what happens? Nothing. Okay, what happens? Because maybe we don't need to see it on this side. Can we just flip it around? to this side and maybe this will work how we want or can they come up through that's the question can you go through this no hmm it's probably a block for this come on break for me oh my gosh come on turtle you can do it not doing very good Okay, so let's see here, uses. There's gotta be something. Dropping conveyor belt. <laughs> I figured it out, everyone. Here, let me show you what I did. So we're gonna fall down here, take a little bit of damage, that's okay. But check this out, we get to maintain being able to see the mobs come up too. Um, so yeah, there we go, that worked. If we hit A, no, no. So what I did is I put a fan here from Mob Grinding Utils, and it just yeets the mobs into the killing chamber. So yeah, we're good to go here. Uh, we probably don't need any of the glass on the sides now that I think about it, because uh, we won't be able to see that, because this is where we're putting all of our collection system. That's right, you heard me correctly. We're doing a collection system. And we're gonna do like uh, XP collection, all of that, making sure everything is good to go. So yeah, this thing is actually ready to go. Um, all we gotta do is put a redstone block beneath it, which is super simple to make. And put the mob farm things. And just make sure we don't get stuck in here at all. Place this here. So now this guy will always be on, put those in. Gotta put the right thing in. Gotta put here and here, yeah. And this mob farm is good to go. If I if I fall into this, I'm probably instantly dead. Uh, yeah, it would probably kill me very quickly. But anyway, let's go ahead. I brought all the spawners over here, so we'll be able to use them. It's cool that the mega torches do not affect the spawners, so we can only have the mobs spawning that we want in the area. And we are probably gonna need to get zombies set up so that I can convert their rotten flesh into leather, so. Yeah, that's one thing. So now I start the fun process of this. Placing all of these. And we have to place them all the same way, otherwise it's gonna look weird. So, or not all the same way, but we just have to match it on both sides. So yeah, we're just gonna do something cool like this. And then place these here. And if you, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but with using the conveyor belts from Immersive Engineering, if you shift, you won't be swept away on them. Which is nice for us if we need to access in here. So if you guys remember what the glass is that the player can pass through, but the mobs can't, please let me know down in the comments. 
so that I can set up a little access point. And if it doesn't let any light in, that is ideal. <laughs> so, cause I'd like to be able to just have like a quick little access port so I can get in here and turn it off, turn it on, good to go. So yeah, that's the other thing we need to worry about too is the on off switches. Now, do we have any wireless redstone that we have? Any wireless? Okay, so it looks like that we're only gonna be able to use the RF tools stuff, which is kind of a bummer, but we can set all the channels to be the same. So we can turn on the farm real quickly and then turn it off. Um, so yeah, I guess it will work. It's just not super ideal, but we wanna make sure that we can turn off the signal. Turn off the farms whenever we need to. Uh, Cause I don't want them running 24 seven, if you know what I mean. Cool, so redstone receiver. And then let's see, spawner. So yeah, the coarse fruit, we're gonna utilize that no AI. So they won't like shoot at us, hopefully. I'll uh, we'll probably use some sugar, but I believe, yeah, it's a redstone comparator that turns that on. so we can make a couple of levers. Good, okay, let's head on back. Good, so I think we're gonna go ahead and make the left and right side our kind of little walls here. So um, this one here, this lever will turn off this farm, this level will turn off this farm, and then those will turn off each of those. And like this will turn off the entire system. So we need to kind of design it in a way that it does that. Um, actually, this probably needs to be the other way around, maybe? Yes. Perfect. Name of this channel. Uh, let's see. So that is Northeast. Oh, wait, hang on. Any turtle farm. Oh, that's not it. Turtle fam. Okay, so we leave that there. Any turtle fam, that's on. And so what we need to do is we need to test it out real quick. So if we, huh. Wait, hang on. To link this receiver with the transmitter, right? Select the transmitter link there with this block. Oh, okay. So we just gotta do this. It's linked up, and so now if we turn this on, yep, the comparator turns on. Sweet. Okay, now if we break it, is it still linked? Set to channel two. I think it's still linked. Okay. All right. So. Get a signal up, all on or all off. I think. Can we run cable up? Power monitor, power level, wire. Yes, you can. Okay, let me set this up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so what I did is I set up a bunch of these redstone, or just wire, it says it's a lag-free solution for wire, and then I put all of these lights here just to see if it would work. Because if it does, we could move it over, uh, and then we could power the spawners, and I don't even know if you can power something through a spawner, but let's just see if these lights work. Hmm, okay, so one light gets used. So it doesn't pull power, or is it just the block? It doesn't get power at all. Yeah. Hmm, okay. But let's see here, what happens, say if we do this. Uh, just so I don't fall in there and die. Let's see, if I do this and power it, does this one, oh, see, if I wouldn't have done that, would have died. 
Okay, so it can only run in a straight line. That is terrible. Okay, back to the drawing board. Okay, so check this out. So what I did is just crafted up a whole bunch of these redstone receivers. And now, there we go. All of them turn on and all of them turn off. So all these can be redstone controlled. All I gotta do is just remove the blocks in the back. And then obviously I have to remove, oh, that could have been bad. I gotta remove um, all of the lights. But yeah, so this is how it's gonna kind of sit. And I mean, we would normally have a block in between each of those to prevent spawning. But now we just have the redstone uh, system here. So yeah, all these are set up for that. So we are all good to go. So now I get to go up there and destroy all the redstone lamps. We can start putting spawners in. And after that, we'll start getting drops, which is going to be great. Okay, now comes the fun process of figuring out which spawner is which. Um, so we have daylight out, shift right click. Okay, so this is a wither skeleton. So we're going to leave him. This is also a wither skeleton. And this is also a wither skeleton. <laughs> Okay, so none of those worked. All right, next batch. Here we go. All right, you, you are an Endermite. I don't know why I have you. You're also an Endermite. He might be down below. And then you are just a skeleton. Looking for my blaze, wither skeleton. Okay, so none of you either. I also didn't get an Enderman spawner, which is a little bit of a bummer. Hang on, there we go. Okay. So, you are my blaze spawner. All right, we have our lucky contestant here. You're also my blaze spawner. You're my endermite spawner. You are an endermite spawner. And you are a creeper spawner. We're gonna put that back there. That's gonna be handy. Do we have any baddies down there now? Hey, come here, you crazies. Good. All right, so blazes are always first because we can use them for power, which is great. So if we ever need anything in here that requires powder, power, we're gonna probably switch to using blazes. So um, what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna put the blaze spawner over here. We're gonna right click this and then there we go. So we can click that guy with a uh, redstone switch. And so we can be a little bit safer should be off or not or not or not or not looks off to me pal okay so first test it went well Okay, but I do think it is off now, so... Okay, I think I had it on. That's why they spawned. That makes sense. Okay, so these guys are piping ready to go, which is cool. But now we're gonna go ahead and work on some upgrades. So, some spawner action here from Apothesis. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get no AI and then wool. So let's get some chorus fruit. I believe I have some. Yep, I got a couple here, and then let's get some wool. Cool, so these guys will have no AI, and we'll be quiet. There we go. So I actually want to see what happens. Like, do they shoot at us if they don't have an AI? Yes. Hang on. Let's grab some sugar. So with no AI, they do not shoot. Amazing. Good. So no AI means that we are free. <laughs> We're safe, which is good. We definitely need those on the creepers. Um, but let's get down here. I, what I want to do is grab two of these. Where's it? Oh, there you are. I'll grab three. Put them all back. Grab two. There we go. So if we get close enough, they should start spawning in. Yep, and they have no AI, so they're not going to shoot. And they're going to fall down. Or not. What is this? Okay, now they're falling down. 
good, 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 good. Okay, now let's check them out. So they're down here. They're just not moving very fast. That's okay, because this farm will be running all the time. So there they go. That's working good. There's no dead spots. That's amazing. And we can see them fall, and boom, they get dead. Oh, man, it works. Look at it. It works so good. Oh, my gosh. Look at all those orbs. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We got a bunch of these guys spawning in now. The problem is there's no spawner up above, so they're kind of getting stuck, which is going to limit the spawner performance, but that's kind of okay. It's just... It's really weird being in here with blazes that don't attack you. <laughs> no AI is seriously one of the best additions that uh, Apothesis made for uh, spawners. I love it. So yeah, the blazes are coming in here, but we got to find something to do with all of these materials. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the farm so that none of them keep spawning in. We don't crash the server or anything like that. Um, yeah, so we got to figure out what to do and what we're going to do first of all is set up our storage wall. Um, so we're going to do a bunch of kind of these at the bottom. So we're going to have a total of 16, yeah, four times four. So 32 different one-off items that we can store. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing, another 16 of the really big items. So we have a total of 32 different items we can store on each side. Uh, and now we can increase this, you know, in the future if we need to. I don't think we will. Uh, so like, like for instance, right, Blaze will be here, the Inferium Essence will be here, and then the Hearts and stuff like that will be here. But then all the other items, say that we don't get as much of, will go down here, like the Hearts um, or like the Rare Drops. Um, but that's actually not the biggest concern we have for the system. Believe it or not. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Let's see how this looks real quick. All right, we frame that up with the bar. That might work. I don't know how we're going to make this look. Um, but yeah, the biggest concern is those little orbs there, the XP. So we got to uh, focus on getting those taken care of. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to make an absorption hopper. Uh, this will suck up experience and it will suck up items. So that's exactly what we want. We need to make another drawer uh, controller. Let's see, sophisticated. Or no, it's functional storage. Functional storage. So we need one of you. Bam, we got him. Perfect. And then we're going to need the linking card and the locking card. Perfect. So we need those guys a lot. Uh, I did go ahead and get a whole bunch of obsidian here. Uh, I just used some vein miner down on... Let's check the map. If you look here, let's see. Yeah, down on... On this stuff here, there's a bunch of obsidian guarding it, and so I just went to town on it, and it was amazing. Got a bunch of obsidian, and now we can take these guys and wrap them up. So we, we actually need a, a full stack of these. Uh, but 24 is going to be just fine for now, uh, especially dealing with uh, the items. So, But for storage, let's get a tank going. We can make an evil craft tank. Um, yeah, dark tank is what we want. This guy, if we use the blocks, do we have enough for two? We do, amazing. So we can store up to 144 uh, buckets in this. So that's ideal for the system that we are setting up. And the great thing is because we have the basement, we're gonna set it up under there. And I'm gonna pull out my hair running back and forth. So we have a bunch of room. Um, darn. I guess it's not going to look as good as I wanted down here, but that's okay. I just wanted to be able to like kind of just check things. Um, so we are going to put this guy right here. And then on the left side, we'll put the items. So let's see. That is west. So west we will set for items. And then we need... Oh, we... Let's not do items yet. Let us... We need to link all of the drawers together first and then we need to lock them okay that was weird I don't know why it was doing that maybe I was just too far away 
cool. Okay, so all of these are now linked. So we're gonna go back down there and we're going to lock all of them. All right, so we got them all locked and now we are going to grab the items that we got from this thing, all the different items, and we're gonna find places for them. Now, uh, like eventually we're gonna put a bunch of upgrades, but first off, we're gonna put a bunch of void upgrades on all of these so nothing gets too crazy. So we'll do blaze rods here. We'll do inferium essence here. Uh, miniature hearts we'll put here. Um, raw fire shards, molten core, and then this guy here. So as you can see, all of these are locked. We're gonna go ahead and click each of these with a void upgrade. Um, actually, I'm gonna do this entire wall. No, that is not what I wanted to do. lock it again and then we just click them okay so this is set up for a decent amount of items and fury essence is good blaze rods are good so theoretically we could turn this thing back on and we're good to go but we need to handle the experience being collected uh, and just you know temporarily we can set up a dark tank here that will hold a bunch of items so on the west side we can say items go in and as you can see that's pumping items in and then on the east side fluid and as you can see fluid is getting pumped into here so now we need to work on getting this fluid processed and then eventually pumped back into our system so our xp can be up there and stored with all of our other items Cool, cool. So what we need to do is get an XP solidifier here, singularity tank, we can make that. Uh, we have the pistons, we need these guys, very good. Didn't realize we had some of those left. Cool, so now we have an XP solidifier here. Then we need to make a mold. So we need a bucket of essence. A bucket of essence, here we go. So we hit slash back, boom, we're back here already. Bang, we got one of those. Ham, not a whole. <laughs> I said ham. That's funny. All right, so here we go. We got this guy, and I believe all you have to do, yes, is just do that. So here we are. Um, I believe this takes power. No, it actually doesn't. I lied. So now what we need to do is get some pipes so that we can pump it here. Actually, I really do like being able to see fluids and things like that when we're using them, so I think that we are going to utilize some of these guys. And then we can utilize some more of the logistical transporters. Yes, excuse me, advanced thing. Mechanism, there we go, booyah. All right, so we hit slash back again. We are here. So what I wanna do is set this up here and then mechanical pipe. Wow, we didn't even, wow, okay. That's already pumping stuff in. On, okay, and then basic logistical transporter. Do one of those, but we have to give this a spot to go. And that is okay. Let's see here. We want XP to have its own. I think we're gonna put XP here. And then we'll click this void upgrade. And that, yep, there we go. We have XP now automated. So now our XP is being collected and our items are being collected. So, and they're also being voided if there's too many. So we shouldn't have any problems turning the system on. And this actually looks really neat. Um, yeah, this looks extremely clean down here. I really like how this turned out. We can upgrade these to be faster, but you know, it might be faster once we have a bunch of mobs coming in here, which is really cool. Push north, we need to push west, yes. So yeah, as soon as we turn the farm back on, they will be falling down. And I see now that I mined all of the structure, which is okay, but uh, we need to put that back. It looks good. 
And so I'm gonna line like each of these up with the with uh, this block in my hand here, the iron plates, so it'll look really good. And we'll also uh, make the exchange wand here soon so we can replace all the blocks inside so it's not dirt. But I really like how this system turned out. I like really like it. I might set up the, the elevator, another set of elevators over here in front. But yeah, this system is good to go. I wonder if we could have a master switch like here to turn off all the farms. I wonder if we should just do that instead. Like just right below here, boom, you just flick it as a switch and you're good to go. Could be. But as you can see, this thing is already piping out mobs. So, but I really should get a zombie spawner too. All right, there they are, they're funneling in. Let's just make sure we aren't missing out on any items. I mean, we can always check within the, um, the item collector, but yeah, the XP is getting picked up. The items are getting picked up. The only thing that's gonna lag the server would just be the mobs, and then we can always turn them off, which is amazing. Just from that switch right there, we can turn off the blazes. Turn them on or off. So check it out, we're already up to 10 XP candies here, 11. And if I go ahead and eat them, if I shift eat them, yeah, all of them get eaten. Perfect. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's really working. The looting is amazing. What other things can we put on to our mob masher? Um, so beheading is going to be a big one for the blazes. We don't need to worry about that one. Fire aspect, probably don't. Looting we have, sharpness. Smite. We'll probably put smite and beheading, and that will probably be it. I don't think anything else we would benefit from killing with fire. But I guess now I want to go ahead and set up the creepers uh, just next to them. So we'll go ahead and turn off the blazes. And I believe it was this guy. Nope, that's an endermite. This guy, yes. Okay, so this guy is the creepers. So we'll go ahead, take you. We're going to put him, them here. We'll go ahead, shift click. No AI, redstone controlled. So now it's not going to spawn anymore. Let's go back home. We need to make, uh, we need to get some sugar and we need a bunch of clocks. So yeah, that should suffice. I know it seems like we used all of our clocks and or all of our gold and we actually kind of did, but we don't need to worry about that because we have it automated. So we're decreasing the maximum, uh, max spawn delay between um i don't know if we should do too crazy actually that's probably enough we'll do 80 but then we'll lower this down to 20 and that is what we set the other one to actually the blazes are set a lot more than that they're playing hard to get i love mechanism but the wrench really pisses me off sometimes okay so here we go oh and now, if we flip this on, creepers will be spawning in as well. And they should be spawning in pretty quick. Yeah. Hopefully we don't have them take too much damage. Oh, I forgot. They're not silent. So what we can do is click, them, click the spawner with wool, and it will make them quiet so that they don't make a sound. Well, I guess it doesn't make a lot of sound. But yeah, this is pretty good. Now, once the creepers start rolling in, we'll need to adjust it. And I'm also worried, okay, so we got we got some fine tuning to do here. Um, we did craft a couple of things from mob utilities. I wanna utilize these guys, so let's see. Back, um, yeah, so what I wanna do is replace maybe these guys with them okay let's see if these help at all these are kind of a little different of a block i might need to use vector plates or something like that let's flick them on okay that seems to be working quite a bit better we just we have a lot of mobs going in but yeah, they're definitely not piling up like they were before. The, uh, the reason why we didn't utilize more of those, um, let's see, here they are, the entity conveyor, is just because um, they, they're they a bit expensive. <laughs> we don't have slimes automated yet. So, I mean, they're working better, but they're still kind of getting backed up. Hmm. 
the only thing else I can think of is the vector plates. Let's see how many of these we can craft. Um, 60, we have a lot of slime. I don't have any gold. Jeepers to Pete. Okay, so I need to grab some gold here. This video is getting long, I'm sorry guys. I hope you like it though. I don't have a lot of time to edit it, so it's gonna be kind of raw. <laughs> Oh man, this might be an hour long video, but I hope you guys like it. I thought I put a lot of work into this video already. All right, so here we go. We got the gold that we need. So vector, ultra vector plates, or no, these are just fast vector plates. And then, yep, we can do this as well. Extreme vector plates, and what does it take for ultra? Okay, you can't craft those. Okay, so. So this is how quick they're going in. So let's flick this off. We'll let them all process through. It's like that hole just sitting there waiting. Hmm. Okay. We're going to put the vector plates right on top of them. Oh, I wonder... that drop down is not good for them okay so I seem to have a system that's kind of working here so we used all the entity conveyors from mob grinding utilities and so oh, what I did is I changed it so that we only have one point that's entry um, and I think that's helping somewhat I'm gonna see if I can extend it to a, the second row um, and kind of get them moving around um a little bit more so well, they'll kind of do like a little toilet bowl <laughs> doing the toilet bowl in here but it's just it's allowing them to like still continue to spawn in at a decent rate but then they're able to get into this loop a little better so i did one ring we now we have two rings of the toilet bowl system so let's see how it works um so we should see a lot of them kind of spinning around um, it seems to be working pretty. It's going to be kind of crazy when we have this whole thing filled with spawners. Um, we might end up just making them a little bit slower so that it doesn't kind of go crazy because there is such a thing as too many, too many mobs. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll figure it out with this. Uh, I, I like this system here so far. Um, Gumbleuzzler came over and was uh, gave me some slime balls and was checking it out and he liked it a lot too. So that's good. Um, yeah, but yeah, this is working good. We have quite a bit of these guys. Check it out. XP farm for the win. Level 46. We can start enchanting all of our stuff. If anyone else needs to enchant it on the server, we're good to go. But yeah, no AI. This system is working fantastically. I really am a big fan of what we have set up here. But yeah, so again, the, the, this isn't really done. We will definitely finish it over the next couple of episodes. We need to fill this up with a bunch of mobs. I need to get an Enderman spawner. Uh, there's a lot of things we got to do before we kind of put a cap on this. <laughs> literally but anyways guys thank you all so much for watching the video if you did enjoy the video please make sure to hit that like button and as always don't forget to subscribe but this has been super turtle and i'll see you all in the next video take care peace out